Are you looking for some awesome effects? Get access to thousands of exclusive premium effects, free effects as well, with their super affordable pro memberships. Click the link in the description. What's up guys, these are the most amazing filters in Vegas Pro 16. We are in Vegas Pro 16 and this is basically the clip that I'm going to uh, use as an example to show you what this filter can do. So this is basically our clip and if we're going to apply the actual filter on it, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, that looks really, really nice with like the blue highlights and the cinematics and everything. So I just made a download link in the description. Just click there completely for free, download it, and then you will end up with this file. And then what you want to do, guys, is you want to extract this teal and orange dot cube anywhere on your computer doesn't really matter so we're gonna go to uh, extract and we're gonna put that one on our desktop all right so now that it is on our desktop if you already had vegas pro open i would just recommend to just as you can see just close it down restart it and then you want to go to the video effects tab and you will scroll all the way down until you see lut filter you want to click on lut filter and then you will see uh, as you can see the default one you just want to drag that on top of the clip and you want to click on file then browse and then you want to pick the teal and orange dot cube file on your desktop and as you can see boom when we apply that this is how our clip comes to look and that is how simple it is guys i also use that one as you know on the intro of my videos as you guys probably noticed so that's it guys this is how you apply the orange and teal onto your videos really really simple and that's how to do it this vegas pro 15 tutorial and that's all about lut so in this tutorial i have a lot to talk about so i would say let's get started so as you can see we are in vegas pro 15 and we need a lot of and we need to install it first i'm gonna leave a link in the description that's going to bring you to a mega page where you can just really simple and for free download this plugin so we're gonna go ahead and click on the first link in the description that's going to bring us to this page which is called vlx visuals cinematic luts so we're gonna click on download and you need winrar or winzip to be able to extract it so once it is finished we're going to save this and we're gonna open it up okay so once we opened up this a folder what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select everything that's in there we're gonna extract this to anywhere on our computer it can be our desktop it can do it can be images videos documents music doesn't really matter as long as we have those installed and you know extracted onto our computer so once that is done we're gonna make sure that we will restart Vegas or you do want to just install these files from the zip file while Vegas is closed so once we have booted it up again as you can see when we go to the video effects tab if you scroll all the way down till we see the L and right here as you can see it says LUT filter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a clip from a video that can use some LUT effects all right guys so as you can see right now this is a clip of uh, yesterday's Alex thoughts episode what we're gonna do is we're not gonna apply any effects what we're gonna do the only thing is drag on the default one of the LUT filter so we're gonna drag it on top of the clip and I'm gonna drag the window out of the way so you guys can actually see the difference you know to the clip now as you can see right now it says name it doesn't really matter we can also drag in uh, the file that we just installed as you can see we have interpolation you can put that one to good or to best it doesn't really matter once we've done that we're gonna click on browse and we're gonna pick one of the files that was in the zip file okay here we have for example LUT cube we're gonna load that in and let's see what happens to the clip so as you can see this is quite of a difference so if you go ahead and uncheck it it goes from this to this which is a really cool effect and if i play back the video as you can see that is really accenting a lot that is basically the first file we're going to uncheck it we're going to click on browse and we're going to pick a new one for example uh the uh the lut six 
dot cube let's see what that one looks like so as you can see it is loading the effect and if i click on lot filter as you can see so this is one of the other effects that are in the folder and you guys can just go ahead and look which one would works best for your video and that is basically how to use lot guys it is not really that complicated step one download the files in the link in the description go ahead and extract it anywhere on your desktop go to vegas select lot filter browse for any file that you will think that will look the best for your videos for example i'm gonna pick another one for example the lut 3 and it's going to just replace this effect it's not going to add in uh, another effect on top of it so as you can see this is basically another LUT effect which looks really really nice some really nice color grading and I think I'm going to use this in the future as well because this is just mind-blowing how awesome this is so guys that is basically how to use LUT welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this awesome VHS effect and that's going to be really really simple so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started now as you guys can see this is just a stock footage clip of a beach and we're gonna make this from this really high quality recent shot video into a really old VHS uh, clip so if you guys want to download the VHS package that I have ready for you guys including um, the, the black bars that you guys are gonna need and also the VHS effect Make sure to check out the description, there is a link to it, it's just for free, I just put it up there so you guys can download it and use it as well, so that's really awesome and you guys can go ahead and do that. So let's get started with the video and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to drag in a black bars or you can just go ahead and, and, and go to Google and type in black bars uh, PNG. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new video track and we're going to put this one on top of it. Okay, so those are the black bars that we're going to use and basically what you can do is you can also move up uh, the beach clip a little bit. So let's say that you want to see a little bit more of the beach. Uh, what you can do, or, or the C, what you can do is you can go to the event pan crop icon, pretty straightforward, and you can just go ahead and move this around, I would say, like this. So that looks really cool, and that looks already very tight. So what we're going to do then, the next thing, is we're going to stretch this for the entire clip. Then we're going to create a new video track as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag in the VHS uh, clip, this one, as you can see. That one looks really cool. We're going to delete the audio because we don't need that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on top of it. As you can see, very flashing and everything. But in order to make this, uh, in order to see through this, we're going to go ahead and click on the compositing mode icon. And we're going to click on uh, screen, as you can see. Let's say that you want to ha don't want to have those VHS effects on top of the black bars. Just go ahead and drag the black bars track above it. And as you can see, it only happens on the C. As you can see, that one looks really cool. But what we're going to do then is we're going to add in a nice TV simulator. So we're going to go ahead and click on TV simulator, drag in the default one on top of the beach clip. And as you guys can see, this image looks really, really cool. And that's how you create this awesome VHS effect. Obviously, you can mess around with those settings. As you can see, like this, the zoom of it and obviously uh, all those other markers like that. We can just mess around with all the markers like this. And that's basically how you create an awesome VHS VHS effect guys it is that simple so I want to thank guys for watching thank you for the continuous support that's it for this video and I will see you guys tomorrow